So here is the second love about Taz. Um, so if you saw my previous video, I did uh, fix this other older version of the LuzzBot. This one actually had a bad uh, end stop and a clog. And then this one, I have no idea. So it looks like a similar design, but different. You know, and the geared system back here where it stays on there, that's obviously not right. So let's check the bed. Loose too, like the other one was. And, um, okay, I'm just looking for signs of, the cool thing is, at least the power supply is more compact than this one. It doesn't have the external power supply. It has the cool green stuff, so, uh, definitely more fans, you know, definitely more or ornate cooling fans. You have double fan ducts, and like here, which is totally unnecessary, you don't need all that stuff. Um, yeah, I think most people, by, they add weight by, you know, um, adding cooling fans, you know, like this is, like, if you looked at my, if you ever looked at my Thingiverse page, I've designed a couple of different extruder systems, and one of the ones I did is, uh, designed a, one called Orca with a NEMA 14 on it, ultra light, you know, this is, this is the last thing you want, you don't, you want to be this big and heavy, I mean, this is a gigantic heavy thing going around, this is just basically, you're putting this ghost in your parts by having all this extra weight, so, um, Super the bearings. Why is that here? Okay. Okay, I mean, the design is a little bit different than the other one. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the signature large extruder wheel. Um, yeah, this just creates slop right there. That's, you don't want slop, that's backlash. Um, I think I said that in the other video. I'm going to pull it off my air compressor, go through and see if I can do a test print. But like in the other video, I told you they, they were running ABS, which is horrible for these printers. You don't want to run more ABS. Um, it's not in closed chamber. You know, it's hard to print with. Um, then they have this, this, this plastic sheet. So this is um, glass is the preferred at least for me, or this, I mean, this is quite old school stuff. Um, okay, there you go. All right, so this one is considered a TAS 6. The other one's considered, I guess, TAS 5. Everywhere we worked on a lot of LuzzBots. Um, I bet they're just like an Air 3 printer. Okay, so first thing first, the other one had a bad uh, home switch. I don't even see a home switch on this one. I see one over here. But it looks like it's missing the. Uh... Okay, well, it has it. All right, we'll do the home. So, I, I don't know. I'm assuming this is an 8 bit board. Is this running Marlin 1? Um, yeah, it's hard to say. I haven't even looked at the main board to see what's. Let's see, do an auto home and see what happens. Auto home. Yeah, I'll say it's. Not try damage drivers and you can hear the motors moving. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh I don't I don't I guess I'll lift up the Z. Let's see if they have a probe here, but I highly doubt it. And I wonder if it, did it. That was weird. See how? It came forward. Normally, it would actually, the Y would go to the back and home back there. But this one home forward. Um, all right, so I'm going to raise the gantry and see if there's something going on with the stops. Okay, so I, I know how it's working now. Um, see this right here? This is the uh, Z. It's like a touch probe. See right there? It's a touch probe. You can see where it's actually missed it here a couple times. So that's how they're actually calibrating offset. Which I don't really like that. Well, I mean, it's... Because if you actually had some stuff on the tip of your nozzle, I could throw that off. So I'm not sure exactly how they're calculating that. I mean, it's Luzbot, so you think they would have figured it out. Um... 
that means there's probably the end stop over here. This, the hell? this whole thing is. This whole thing came off right here. Okay, that thing's running on there. Okay. Oh, wow, these printers are thrashed, man. Even the other one was thrashed, too. Okay. Well, that's what you. That's what I get when I. <laughs> I mean, I fix 3D printers, I see all different kinds of stuff. So the end stop is bound there. Okay, so the end stop is part of the. Uh, it's the end. The, the Y end stop is actually on the gantry itself. All right. All right. So I gotta first figure out this, and then figure out that. Hopefully, there's not a jam too. Hopefully the Lesbot is watching this video. So that's the second printer I actually had where the actual all these things came loose. And I can see that there's no uh, Loctite on there. Like blue Loctite, so it's not crazy on there, but just enough so it's not going to back itself out. This one obviously, there's nothing on there, but this one's like there's one screw left here, one here. These are fine, but I mean they're all falling out. And so I'm just going to use a little, little blue. If you use red, you'll never get it off that heat. Just a little bit of blue. I'll wipe off the excess. That way they don't walk themselves out again. I know I've seen this. I don't know if I've seen it on uh, Lesbot Mini. A little mini cube printer, but I don't like this design where it comes back and wipes off the head. You have to replace this strip every once in a while. And then... Just too, many, too much... I mean, BL Touch. You just go with the BL Touch. You'll be... Life will be easier. All right, now that this bed is tight again, that's tight. I'll try to hum that thing again. And I'm hoping that thing will give it uh, the board Z feet, that little sensor here. Put this here. Um, this little thing right here. I'm hoping that actually works. You see that crash? I'm hoping it just the problem was just hit it, but sometimes these sensors go out, and then when you hit this, it doesn't send the feedback to the board. It's basic equipment took like an end stop. All right, let's go to motion moment. And wait, moment, movement. Hold on, hold on. Why don't you? All right, let's see where it goes. That nozzle has to come down and hit it. If I don't get feedback right now, then there's something wrong with the the end stop. The little sensor probe right there. Cool, worked. All right, let's see if uh, we'll do bed temperature heat now. And uh, I don't know if there's a clog or not. I guess we'll find out. Heat it up. I'm going to heat the thing up to ABS or 240. Yeah, I remember now. Actually, it was a Luzbot Mini that I worked on. It has its own custom version of Cura. So I'm going to actually do a calibration cube, ABS, and slice it, put an SD card. There's all this A bit version. So they consider this, I guess, TAS 6 a legacy. So um, I guess I'll save the file. Sorry for the background noise, but. One thing I can't stand all like these some printers in is all the proprietary stuff. It just makes it hard to troubleshoot. Like I forgot, even like with the Lesbot Mini, same thing, it goes back, wipe, 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 it tries to level these things, but right now I can't, it's not leveling the, so it's trying to wipe the nozzle. I mean, this is just, this is going to be a headache over time, I mean, I guarantee it. So that's a headache I'm dealing with right now, I'm trying to figure out why it won't come over here and level. It goes through, it goes back, and it's going to try to hit these, hit these tips, but it's not going down far enough. See that? Okay. That looked okay. Okay, got feedback there. Okay, now we come over here. It's basically, there's a, there's a ground strap on the nozzle, and it's sending back a signal. I think this side is... See? It thinks, so it was able to probe this side. 
so I'm thinking this side might be low. So it's trying to clean it. Yeah, this is just... I don't know, man. I just The BL Touch or the or Capacitive Sensor is a way better, more reliable system. Okay, well, see, so it's going to fail again. It's not going down far enough. See? It stops. So there's probably like a limit, right, how far it can go, go down. All right. So I'm going to bend this bed up a little bit. I'm guessing this is probably out of, out of whack. So, if anybody you guys actually have one of these love bumpers, hopefully this will help you guys out. That's why I make these videos. All right. Bring it down to this one here. See, this is like right on top of it, right? About a millimeter off right there. Now let's bring it over to this side. See, that's about three or four millimeters out. So I need to actually have this pretty, pretty close. Because I'm, I'm guessing what happened is it's going down too far and it's airing out and saying, okay, well, it's gone too far, right? So it thinks it failed. Like there's something wrong with it. It didn't get feedback in a certain amount of millimeters. Um, so obviously this, this side is very low. All right. This is kind of an older printer. So to get this thing level, I'm going to be putting uh, washers in there, bringing up a couple millimeters. So I put a couple of washers to kind of align the bed better. Okay, that's such a weird setup, man. Okay, so I go up and hit this one. Okay, this is the side that had problems before. Cool, got it. All right, next phase. All right, hmm. yeah, this is a horrible bed. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know how well this bed's gonna hold up. I can see it flexing while it's moving. Look at that. We'll see. Well, that's not, I mean, I don't want to tell him to get a new bed, but, you know, that's gonna knock the parts off and flex around like that. 30 skirt layer lines. Looks like the Z is already kind of the Z offset's already 1.2, negative 1.2, which seems like it's kind of okay, but it's hard to say because the bed's flexing, so it's like it's pushing the bed down. But I did get the printer to work again, so that's really all that matters. Let's go down there so you can see. Yeah, ABS is horrible. Yeah, I mean, if you're not making something functional, if you're just prototyping, you should never use an ABS. I mean, if it doesn't need to be in the sun, maybe. But, I mean, I would ever use carbon fiber PLA or, you know, something like that. You know, nylon X or something. All right, that's the TAS 6. Didn't expect much with the ABS. Well, that and that bed's moving around, too, so... Yeah, ABS is a horrible to print too, bed moving around. But um, yeah, I already told the guy to get a glass bed and PLA plus. This thing will be dramatically better. Um, all right, cool. Two of these things are done. So work on those two tomorrow and then uh, let the customer make it come up. All right, awesome.